What's up, Rockets? I'm Malik Knox. And I'm Tristan Turner. And this is J-Rocket TV. Our top story, there has been six cases of the Zika virus confirmed in Texas. Zika is a mosquito-borne virus that can cause a fever, a rash, muscle and joint aches, and pink eye. However, most people who are exposed to the virus don't show any symptoms. Health officials have braced for the spread of the Zika virus in Houston with calm vigilance as the World Health Organization considered declaring an international emergency over the virus. According to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, Zika has already been detected in more than 25 countries. A main concern of the virus is the effect it seems to be having on newborns in Brazil, with several of them being born with abnormally small heads. Stay safe out there, everybody, and be careful around mosquitoes. In tech news, the Justice Department has given Apple demands to create a backdoor to an iPhone for the FBI. The phone belonged to the man behind the San Bernardino shooting who killed 14 people. However, Apple has refused the request to open the iPhone. Apple CEO Tim Cook said, while we believe the FBI's intentions are good, it would be wrong for the government to force us to build a backdoor into our products, and ultimately we would fear that this demand would undermine the very freedoms and liberty our government is meant to protect. Basically, Cook is saying they would compromise the safety of every iPhone user and create a virtual skeleton key that would open any iPhone and could potentially be at risk of getting in the hands of someone with malicious intentions. And now here's Trace with a movie review. In The Witch, a Puritan family living in 1630s New England is torn apart by suspicion and paranoia when they are terrorized by a witch living in the nearby woods. The Witch is an unfortunate victim of being a really good movie that is heavily mismarketed. The trailer was suggested as being a standard jump scare fueled horror flick that would mildly entertain for a Friday night, but that wouldn't necessarily leave any lasting impressions. I'm sure most general audiences left the theater unsatisfied that they saw a movie that is instead a complete exercise in tension and dread. A movie that is so bleak and hopeless that it stuck heavily in my brain. The Witch is a movie that has no desire to adhere to whatever expectations an average horror fan has, layering the true horror of the story behind an incredibly well-crafted period piece drama about the distrust a family has with one another. Director Robert Eggers pulls out all the stops and even commits to having every character speak in Old English, a decision that wholly pays off in giving the movie true authenticity. No actor in The Witch ever feels like an actor. Everyone feels strikingly and sometimes uncomfortably real, truly selling the excessively grim atmosphere. The movie relies on implied horror, making the movie truly relentless in its terror despite its slow pace and how generally unconventional it is, until the tension finally culminates in a chilling conclusion that most certainly won't satisfy what most people are looking for. There is a difference between horror fans and jump scare fans, and The Witch is the divider of the two groups. Personally, I'll take the intrigue and craft of The Witch any day. I'm giving The Witch a 4.5 out of 5. And now here's Malik and Sabrina with today's Word in the Street. Get out there, Malik. Let's go do this. Malik, what's the word on the street this week? What movie are you looking forward to this year? Batman vs Superman. Deadpool, because I've never seen it, but I heard it was really good. What movie are you looking forward to this year? Deadpool. I haven't seen that movie yet for a long time. What movie are you looking forward to this year? The next three avatars. Like, not the airbender, like the blue cat people. There's going to be three more. Doctor Strange. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's going to be a good, uh, scary movie. I don't even know what's out. <laughs> um, the X-Men movie. The what? The X-Men movie. I don't know what that is. No. Oh my god, I don't know. Deadpool? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any movies. Um, um, Finding Dory. Finding Dory. Oh, and The Incredibles Part 3 or 2 or whatever it is. The number one movie everyone's going to look forward to. Deadpool. What movie are you looking forward to? My movie, because I'm writing another one and it's coming out. Me and Jacob be working on it, so get ready for that. Get ready for that. <laughs> uh, Straight Outta Compton 2. Oh, I don't really watch movies. No, I told you. I told you. <laughs> Captain in the Woods. The new Captain America Civil War. 
Cool. Okay, what movie are you looking forward to? Fifty Shades of Black. Oh, Deadpool on the reels. Well, that's about all the time we have for today, Rockets. I'm Malik Knox. And I'm Tristan Turner. And this has been J-Rocket TV. To see more of our broadcasts and other content, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash J-Rocket TV.